Okay, so there's uh, in the tech sphere and in crypto, there are uh, different kinds of investors, right? And I'm not going to demonize any of them because what's going to happen is going to happen anyway. You wanted to use the technology, right? At some point in time, you just wanted to invest in something that was going to go up, right? Which is where a lot of investors are still at today. They, you know, I mean, that's their focus. They look at every pattern developing in a parabola across the market for the intrinsic value, moving it around. I don't know. Maybe they have 14 children. Maybe they need braces. I don't know. It seems a little obsessive to me. But again, like I'm a bachelor boy. So uh, I um, started getting into different projects, experimenting with setting up micro ecologies, scalable ecosystems. That's fancy smanchy, right? I don't have to, you don't have to know anything. You can have one thumb up your butt and pull this shit off that I'm talking about. But here's the thing. People are looking for all these places to throw their money to go up and it doesn't work out. Oh, and you get hurt. Oh, the rug pull. Oh, um, Terra Virtue, Terra, Terra Luna, um, not Terra Virtua, Terra Luna and uh, Celsius Network. They won't validate. They're taking, they're changing their TOS and they're moving assets around and locking people's funds. Okay. We need regulation to come in to keep people from getting hurt. You know what I mean? But if you're just using the technology, right, in a way that it um, facilitates a utility or a functionality, you will still get hurt when certain, after, after a while, the venue, right? After a while, the venue, that you that you're trying to use the platform right that you, that your investments inhabitate right it won't be usable anymore there'll be a maybe you'll know but faster than somebody else an alternative to where to go to and you'll be like oh yeah this helps me with supply chain this helps me with uh gamification authentication of identity, right? We're trying to improve a blue check mark. Oh, this helps me in one way or another with a root seed text hash. I can uh, authenticate a uh, data query from the origin path from where it's beginning. And then no matter how exotic and uh, how uh, um, potentiated the data becomes in that exotic data field and how unbelievable, as long as you can verify the root seed text hash origin path, you're good. It's, it's authentic data, right? I just spent a thousand dollars on this crypto so I can authenticate my data query. And then the crypto that I was using to authenticate it dropped down to 10 cents. So you still got to buy a fucking thousand dollars worth of the shit. I don't, and, and I don't care. You didn't get hurt. But if that functionality or whatever corridor or whatever that you were using as ramps or to be more efficient if suddenly they just can't, like we can't validate transactions anymore. We can't do this or that anymore. You know what I mean? You, then I guess you could say that then everybody right, gets hurt. But the thing is, everybody's moving around. They're looking for their interest to be facilitated by a, a technology. You know what I mean? How you can say that you're in it for the technology you might not even know that you're in it for the technology. You might, you might not even know that you used a blockchain. Whatever. This is, I mean, that's like how advanced, I, that's how advanced the technology is. You know, so, uh, It's crazy because uh, some of those examples I gave for people using the technology got rich already. Not me, I'm talking about rich. <clears throat> I mean, I may have had an 
an accomplishment take place or something in a financial area of my life that was like a cool breeze, a little wind under my wings, but I'm not rich, right? Right. Uh, so, so I'm trying to see what's going to happen with crypto, right? Is that uh, it's always going to be used and accepted somewhere by somebody, even if you can't. It's like, it's, it's always going to be wielded effectively by somebody, no matter what the fuck is happening to the stock market or the crypto markets and gold and everything, respectively. Does this sound like a prosperity type of inspirational, like only focus on getting rich type of conversation? Because it's really about is a man's will to integrate and open source a platform that he created to to be edged out of a commodity that was always looked at like a security until somebody smart people used it for the commodity then it was just too like at some point in time it's too ridiculous and the sec can't look at a commodity anymore it has to go to the commodities what's it called the federal the fct or something so it has to go to a different regulatory agency. It just be t too fucking it, ridiculous. Why is it too ridiculous? Because you know that our bureaucrats will not cease upon anything that is in constant ridiculous just because. <clears throat> and it's because uh, they're partners with um, corporations and organizations that are using the technology and they needed to facilitate something. So in, in that, whatever that they're using falls into a, a bracket. And then that we can uh, open source is the only way that you can get your live streaming capabilities of conferencing with encryption to run, even though it's perfectly legal, you will you would be getting like picked off and shit. Like you'd be getting poisoned and shit. Like all kind of fucked up shit would be happening. There would be like a uh, ransom or whatever the fuck. There's just some bad shit happened to you for trying to, for trying to uh, integrate and open source. But thing is, if you integrate and open source, you're protected. Because everybody that's using the platform with an interest in it that participated in the form of governance managed by the 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 DAO, you know, which is a like a decentralized autonomous organization. Uh, and then you have enough people running validator nodes or whatever, then that's uh, it, it's like a, it'll be a while before the SEC can even rear their head around to look at it. And in that period of time, small niche group of people will be, they'll have their ends met th through a technology. I'm not talking about no deep ends and deep pockets and deep, you know, it's like my words can just get muddled together. And just <laughs> pushed out there. And I assume, like, I won't have enough uh, uh, influence. Some people have influence past posthumously, right? But at some point in time, you're not going to have enough influence to even represent for your for your intention anymore. What uh, was impactful, or what was eff efficacious, or what was uh, like a expeditious just back out there just back out there everybody knows this isn't spiritual this is uh this is uh what's it called ambition and uh great expect like great expectations or something or it's like where well, you gotta go out and make your fortune and sell your wild oats or some shit ain't that normal that shit is normal to do it's called the for sure grind for a reason. 
not like this encroachment on this one. What, what I'm getting at is that uh, invest like eight like okay it starts with organization right, namely provided like they get a title or something. Then they become an agency because you have a title through a degree. They get it through degrees. You can just have an angle. Then you can build out. You can have. You can start your own build out with your interesting name that you came up with. <clears throat> but uh, there's always going to be these organizations that have to mock us to derive agency then we refer to them as agency if they're out to investigate there's not investigate if they're out to regulate it's not really that is it out to do anything it's not really anything that they're out to do that's that's not i mean that's just because we're in like inviting to this it's an, an, an it's like an attractive field where uh nescience is always available for you know if there isn't enough um uh what's it called like you know you need a mark to be a psychopath right you need a mark not psycho you need a mark to be a to be a uh what is this called sociopath or something like that what to be a the psychopathy is what they measure in in different cities as far as if you want to move there the psychopathy is the ability to take advantage of a mark and if there's no marks you can't account for anybody there's no psychopathy where it's like where do they all go right but it's not them now you can make the argument that it wasn't their true um uh, like spiritual or their true like nature or something. They were they like it's like okay, so who's controlling you if it's not your nature? Agency, chemical or a human agency, and a ke chemical agent. There there are chemical agents, you know. There is a such thing as chemical agents, right? Um, and there's things you can gaslight. You can gaslight a platform. You can gaslight uh, a, a valuable member of a society or a family, or you can gaslight, uh, you know, like physical property. You can gas like physical, it's just it's like, oh, that's broken. Yeah, you just gotta go and fix two wires and you got your brand new whatever, right? It Up to a point, you could look at, let's say you both, let's say you're two people, let's say I just found um, a CB radio, right? And then, I don't know if this is a good example, and then someone else is like, oh, but that thing don't work, it's, it's, uh, it's got a fried uh, transmit. I don't know whatever. And then you're like, uh, they they know that they could just easily fix it, and then they have it right. But let's say um, you don't know what a CB radio does. Like, or you, as far as you're concerned, it's a relic, right? It's like nobody needs or uses these things, right? I'm just gonna um, let's say like I'm just gonna go sell it. Uh, for like a dollar and and buy uh, some sodium rich ramen noodles that I don't need right and and uh, and you know and you know I have a full refrigerator uh, and I just don't I just need to take it easy I just need to go chill and and uh, relax and everything like we've already all right and then um but you want to you know what I'm saying you really know how to Put it to you. I'm gonna restore it. Like this is really rare. Like I'm surprised to run into one of these. Like this shit is so, like you know what I'm saying. Like you resonate with it so much, and the other person so to the degree thinks it's crap, but they found it first. You know what I mean? 
then you could steal it. You could pry it out of their cold, dead hands, but you can't gaslight it. And you're still a criminal. Is that, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? I'm not making account for idealis idealistic. I'm just saying what have you, like, and, and what it, whatever have you could be a problem to be solved by a technology. And I know what technology that you could use and you would be, you would make time for anybody to explain it to you. But I'm just gonna laugh at your condition and the ability that you don't have to affect your own rise because it looks better comparatively next to you when 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 I when I'm simple and easy and fun and you know like whimsy and everything you know what I mean but I just won't help like I just won't help that can come to all kind of you can postulate that somebody has a problem with their personality they're re repel, repel repellent right but uh let's just say for the sake of whatever the fuck that they're not right because i there are people <clears throat> there are people like shit on accomplishment they shit on accomplishments other people's accomplishments they're they're part of some organization which is like kind of able to like you know, like uh, cudgel and gerrymander and coercion and you know what I mean? But it's, but it's a non-government organization. So they have all the agency, you know what I mean? And when you're out there trying and struggling and being supportive and, and backing people up, not being a backbiter, but, uh, but, uh, picking people up, helping them stand. Again, you know what I mean? Now here's the other thing, right? It's not the other thing. There's there's people that are gonna, they're just wanna be comfortable and live in cool world. That's, that's what really matters, not every family member that they know, not like any other human being, you know what I mean? But yet they still have to masquerade as age, agency. Now, what if you seen, like if, what if you're a soldier and, and you saw the enemy, there he is, the enemy, he's gonna kill my brethren, right? In arms, my, my he's gonna kill my brothers in arms, kill him, right, you got him, right? He's knocked down, he's still alive, right? He's staggering. Okay, he's uh, considered a casualty, right? Uh, here comes the medic, the medic, right? And the medic is gonna help him, and you're like, okay, let the medic do his thing. But the medic, you notice, has a rifle. He doesn't have a medic, badge. He's just another soldier with first aid. What's your responsibility? let him take care of him and go back. You could decide to do that, which they have before in certain wars. They're, they will stop fighting and fucking, they'll start playing fucking games in the field. Like they didn't, this is history, right? I'm not saying that this is what's gonna happen now. I'm saying you're supposed to kill that. You're supposed to destroy them right away. Ide I, ideally, if you're still in, it depends on whether or not you, that the, the fighting is is actively, going on if both sides are heavy fighting and somebody's trying to tend to soldiers that are down and pull them and they got guns and they got to the shit with the they're obviously with the shit you're supposed to destroy them and you're not going to be judged for that act but see there's a time when you could say that the fighting is not going like they're just taking pot shots at each other and you got the squirrel farmers the squirrel hunters the farmers that used to Hunt squirrels, they want to show off their, you know, what I mean, headshot ability and whatever. But if they not atta actively attacking, they'll let the fucking come take the fucking guy out of here. Because they're just looking for any act of bravery to get behind it. And they'll be all, you know what I'm saying? Like how the fucking movie started with, I don't know if movies are real, but fucking dances with wolves, right? 
He, he just showing his willingness to die and till both sides, both armies becomes like the congregation in church. And they were just clapping. You know what I mean? Like, they were just like, ah, oh, yeah, that's it. And then the quartermaster sees everything that's like, oh, this shit, these motherfuckers. They're de they're they're not they're defying the code the the uniform code, like you know what I'm saying the, the quartermaster will be mad because this shit is more valuable when you know what I mean like when when you have a lot of something and people don't have anything that should become valuable man so just like in the movie right and they they'll tell you real shit in movies even if they are not really good for your culture right. They'll tell you certain things like the quartermaster. Uh, he started like fucking with people's supplies or something like, you know, is he like they're collectivizing the war and. Uh, or. When he's like, OK, I just want to go see the frontier before it's gone. And then he went out there and in this movie, it's convenient. They could put it in there in real life. You wouldn't know that quartermaster. You wouldn't know that he blew his brains out. Yeah, you see how movies are? I'm not, you think I was talking about real life? See what they tell you in movies about real life in a way that you have to take it like anesthesia, anesthesia anesthetized to it. I'm desensitized. I'm desensitized. I've, I've, I've uh, destroyed people's argument by reminding them that I'm desensitized and then ask them, what are you talking about? Because if you forgot that I was desensitized, then you're not talking to, you're not speaking to, to anything, you know what I mean? Like you're just out here trying to incite contentious bickering on the internet. And that's like, you can be highly successful, even shocking, appallingly successful in this and this type of experimentalism needs to fucking end, right? That's the takeaway. I guess that's the takeaway. Is that experimentalism needs to end. Come to an end. But then by nature of what it is, right, too. I mean, it's experimentalism. It's experiments. Or you can underestimate man's capability of putting it guising a new purpose for an ongoing experiment and letting the pathology escape out into society through the the course of least resistance which would be the staff who's been desensitized enough to push the buzzer and electrocute all right i gonna make these same kind of videos it's like i'm trying to get one video together huh but then it will be like next to five other videos. So I can actually write a book. I don't have the structure to put acknowledgements and footnotes and forward and I don't know if I say the wrong word, like I'll tell you the wrong kind of book to even write. And there's so many just like manuscript or this or that. Or it's a this, it's a that. This doesn't have a bibliography. This has a glossary. This has a, uh, appendix this has a a, pen, a book have an appendix is a motherfucking book gonna turn to like a i don't know like a, a chupacabra i'll open it up and it'll have like one pumping like it'll have one like <laughs> freaking uh it'll have a lung like trying to, it'll have something trying to <sighs> necronomicon that book is that that's the one that they were talking about that's like trying to come to fucking come in a uh a, a flesh like tied in like you know like in the uh hp lovecraft like the worst thing that can happen is that you become part of one of those like uh like it's like it'll keep you alive and you'll be like asleep and you have all this shit growing in you and around you and shit. And your eyes pop open and you're like, 
but you're all connected to this flesh like thing you'll be down there for you're supposed to be a battery for a th five thousand years and your brain is just like keeping some part of your brain active to manage the uh the functions and everything like Uh, that's why you, you can't, that's why they said like, don't open a, a doorway to an, or, or a portal to a Necronomicon monster because, uh, they won't be able to send them back. It's impossible to send a deep old one or a great old one or a, uh, or a deep, yeah, a deep one, great old one, back. To the, to the, it's impossible, right? The the ground will swallow you whole. Um, the ground will open up and swallow you. Like Yig, Yig was uh, the Necronomicon monster, monster that swallowed that just like swallowed uh, a necromancer. <laughs> Chumped him, gobbled. And then I guess he's gonna be digesting and he's gonna be alive for 10,000 years because he knows how to keep your brain alive longer. <clears throat> okay, same thing with the Matrix, right? There's people like, you tried to struggle to wake them up because they were getting reconstituted human biofiller pumped back through them and they were just a battery and they were like sleep and they were like oh gotta get out of your escape thing is or they're not really there like it's like a dead person they're not here anymore you're trying to save them but they're like they don't want to live uh who else was that was like this reek from game of thrones from Game of Thrones, Reek, he fell asleep in the Matrix. I know that shit sucks what happened to him. That shit was horrible. He experienced every bit of that pain, right? But I guess for some people, like even living is worse than, uh, like more horrific than others. Like mo most of us will not be crucified upside down. Like St. John. Most of us will will not, you know what I mean? But we can drum up support and tell everybody to go cook off inside of a fucking um, BMP, whatever they call those things, troop carrier. Like, you know what I mean? Go cook off with your friends inside of a aluminum can. Whereas you might not have felt the need to do that if I didn't tell you that evil only wins when good people do nothing. Then I get all ready to go over there, turn around and come back, but a whole bunch of people follow me over there. And as soon as they get there, then the um, the gatekeepers in their military will uh, resonate with their all these senses of uh, fraternity and all this kind of shit. Like they'll they'll keep them in uh um commitment like they'll keep bolstering their commitment but you didn't have no fucking commitment then you go home and they can cook off and then they can make youtube videos laughing at them on uh, one side or the other will make youtube videos and they'll be like ha ha this is it. like uh um you know ha 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 something something but you know this is true. It's like after all that shit happened and the and the horrible suffering and everything like that, they will never suffer again. But you're still out here looking at videos, it's, or no? I mean, I look at videos too, but not for that reason. You're still out here like uh, wearing virtue on your sleeve. You're wearing your 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 virtues on your sleeve and signaling to everybody how fucking love and light work. And you're a light worker, and uh, you're you're a scavenger. You eat crustaceans off the ocean floor. You just 
like you have the the cons what's it called the 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 di like your 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 you have the constitution to be able to digest any detritus fucking uh carry on rolling on the ocean floor living side by side along people that have actually other people's best interest at heart you have to tell people that were that whereas like everybody is corrupted everybody is ever you have it, they might be corruptible okay you can expose anybody to enough of anything like to make them ven turn to venge vengeance right and then you can just rationalize how that vengeance is uh you know dishonesty cowardice you know like all this kind of shit whatever you need for it to be they're just pit they just on that pivot they can get knocked off that pivot too they're not cheaters lose sometimes too sometimes cheaters don't win whether or not you want to like i don't want to go into it about whether or not somebody won in elections or whatever because you know this shit like how long have you known that no person who's honest can ever be a president what the fuck sooner or later somebody was gonna take your shit because you were all the time you know unless you're gonna vote for someone who's not the better of two evils then you're not in it for the technology you're in it for the friends you're in it for to be part of a group that it's like you're in it for the friends or something how do you have to, everybody has to, like okay the opposition is so bad that now you have to end up voting for the least likely candidate that you would ever resonate with 10 years ago because they've been figuring out this whole time you know what I mean? What you might be inclined to fucking resonate with, you know? Like all this bash the fash right now because I used to like punk and ska. <laughs> fucking 20, 30 years later, it doesn't fucking matter. They think the next group maybe, they don't care about you anymore because if you've seen that this shit was uh, collectivized and that it's Hot Topic or Top Cat or whatever generic, uh, novelty crap store that that we you know what I mean like our ICP you want to be a goth you can find it all in one location emporium fucking <laughs> counterculture emporiums okay so then the next generation they think that you look up to that too and you know what I mean or they're gonna be they're gonna reinforce and bolster it you have to encourage them if they mimic you like a good, like a father is supposed to encourage imitation when your son in in uh, imitates. You're supposed to reward that. Uh, they're going to be supportive. They're going to bolster it back up again. They don't know that this shit is gimmicky. We're old enough to know that shit is gimmicky. The government just likes to get the kids younger and younger. It's different. They're, they're different from an organization with agency. Just in that. You what? You don't need no fucking accolade. I don't need another accomplishment for somebody to shit on. Like, you know what I mean? Don't like. It's like there's you. If you b bore your soul and told told your family that you're have, you're trying to break out of your personal space personal space can become like a prison they're going to start trying to social engineer you and tell you that oh you're lonesome oh you you you're lonely and this is why you got to be nicer uh, you got to you got to do this you got to do that they're going to tell you what you got to do and with the whatever few months that they have left of their life, existence whatever few years decades that you have to live you know, and you're going to tell me this, and then you're going to be gone too, just like a snap. Life is just a blip. 
Well, that's that way I can understand why maybe it seemed like they made brash decisions because they felt rushed. Even though you could say that fucking you have time to reflect or react in a couple seconds. Some, you know, it might take a few lifetimes for some people to develop a nerve about some things. <clears throat> I'm going to accuse you of uh, destroying a nerve and grating on a nerve that they that they don't even appreciate and don't even have it because they will stand by and let somebody come along and uh, practice set up experimentalism. Experimentalism always it seemed like it can welcome in the beginning. Like, oh, that's not something that we would ever become so sick and tired of that we would never we would throw up if you ever seen another fucking thermometer gun or something like that. Cause you ain't just gonna look at me and size me up and tell me that I uh go along with a plan to aim some gun shaped thermometer shit at some teeny bopper's head because she wanna work in a fucking popcorn stand. You know, maybe her father is got stage two diabetes and gout and can't get up off the couch. Is he a lazy bum? Is she supposed to not want to help out? Maybe she put college aside, you know, but so since you're working at a popcorn stand, you don't have an IQ for college. What are you doing here? Let me aim this fucking stupid fucking thermometer gun at your head. Right? Every day. Entrainment. And then your company thinks as much of you for you to ever rise to a managerial position that you must be down with the grooming. So it only had like, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to explain to these motherfuckers about vaporware. I told them that shit works. That shit is not vaporware, but it is vaporware because it works, but it works for a different intention that you know it has for the, for our purpose with it. It's being used to set up a second class tier system it's being used to set up a second class citizen for a, a new pr a premise a base normalcy like a new presupposed normalcy this is the i've been talking about this shit before i even knew what it was i was i'm sick and tired of hearing about it before i knew what it was before i knew what before i actually got the perspective and then now i got to say it again it's, you know, when it's not cool. It's not cool to say right now because all the other times I said it, I was, I was getting, I was close to something, but I didn't have the whole picture. And now that you got it, I could just, you know, look around and see a bunch of fucking janny, jannies that are not going to have the perspective from the, the, the cosmic perspective that they're not going to have it for me till something m forces them to see it and don't look at me I don't know what something that's going to force you to look at something that I can't make you look like is don't fucking look at me you're looking like you're drowning you're going to look out here like you're looking for help but then you want to shit on my, you're going to shit on my perspective anyways how am I going to Overlook that you're going to shit on my perspective just because you look like you're out here fucking dog paddling in a fucking uh, whirlpool. You know, I can't even tell you what a fucking dog paddling in a whirlpool looks like. I'm, you know, I'm not allowed to, you know.